Did you know that the world's largest retailer, Walmart, began its journey in a small town in Arkansas with just one discount store? Yes, the story of Walmart is an inspiring testimony to the power of humble beginnings. Born in 1918 in Kingfisher, Oklahoma, Sam Walton, the man behind this retail behemoth, had a modest start. His early years were marked by hard work and resilience, values that would later become the cornerstone of his business empire. Walton's first foray into retail was in 1945, when he purchased a Ben Franklin variety store in Newport, Arkansas. With a keen instinct for business, he quickly began to implement his own ideas, focusing on volume selling and reducing the profit margin to attract more customers. In the ensuing years, Walton's store flourished, but the success was short-lived. A disagreement with the landlord resulted in him losing the lease to his store. But this setback didn't deter Walton. Instead, it spurred him on to bigger dreams. He decided to open his own store, a discount store that would revolutionize the retail industry. In 1962, the first Walmart Discount City store opened its doors in Rogers, Arkansas. Walton's vision was clear and compelling, sell more for less. His mission was not just about business profits. Walton believed in helping people. He wanted to help people save money so they could live better lives. This mission, simple yet powerful, resonated with customers and set Walmart apart from its competitors. Walton's philosophy was more than just a business strategy, it was a commitment to his customers. He believed in the power of ordinary people to achieve extraordinary things, and he built his business around this belief. Walmart was not just a store, it was a community, a place where customers felt valued and where they could find products they needed at prices they could afford. And so, the foundation was laid for a retail giant in a small town, with a simple yet powerful mission. The story of Walmart serves as a reminder that even the most humble beginnings can give rise to great things. It's a testament to the power of vision, persistence, and belief in the potential of ordinary people. From a single store in Arkansas, Walmart soon began to spread its wings across the United States. The 1970s and 1980s proved to be a pivotal era for Walmart. During these two decades, the company embarked on a journey of rapid expansion. The vision was simple, yet ambitious, to bring Walmart's unique blend of affordability, variety, and convenience to every corner of the country. And so, the Walmart map began to fill with dots, each representing a new store, a new community served, a new chapter in the company's story. The 1970s saw the opening of stores across the country, from the rolling hills of the East Coast to the vast plains of the Midwest, right through to the sun-kissed shores of the West Coast. But Walmart was not just growing in size and reach, it was also innovating, always looking for ways to enhance the shopping experience for its customers. One such innovation came in the form of Sam's Club. Launched in the early 1980s, these warehouse stores were a game changer. Named after Walmart's founder, Sam Walton, Sam's Club offered customers an opportunity to buy in bulk and save even more. It was a concept that resonated with the public, and Sam's Club locations started popping up across the nation. But the innovation didn't stop there. As the 1980s drew to a close, Walmart introduced yet another revolutionary concept, the Supercenter. These stores were not just bigger, they offered a full grocery selection alongside Walmart's traditional merchandise. The Supercenter was a one-stop shop, a place where customers could buy everything from fresh produce to clothing, from electronics to household items. It was convenience redefined. And so, with the rollout of these Supercenters, the Walmart expansion continued at an impressive pace. By the end of the 1980s, Walmart was no longer just a retailer. It was a part of the American way of life, a familiar sight in towns and cities across the country. By the end of the 1980s, Walmart had become a familiar name in households across America. As the 1990s rolled in, Walmart set its sights beyond the borders of the United States. The decade marked a significant shift in the company's trajectory, as the retail giant embarked on a course of international expansion that would cement its place as a global powerhouse. The first stop on this worldwide journey was our southern neighbor, Mexico. In 1991, Walmart opened its first international store in Mexico City, marking a pivotal moment in the company's history. This venture was not without its challenges. Walmart had to navigate unfamiliar terrain, adapt to diverse cultural nuances, and overcome regulatory hurdles. But with its determination and commitment to delivering value to its customers, 
the multinational retailer successfully established a foothold in Mexico. But Walmart's global ambitions didn't stop at Mexico. The company continued its expansion, extending its reach to the north. In 1994, Walmart made its debut in Canada, acquiring the Woolco chain of discount stores. This move not only expanded Walmart's geographic reach but also further diversified its portfolio, adding yet another feather to its cap. The mid-90s saw Walmart venturing further afield, with the company setting up shop in the United Kingdom in 1999. The acquisition of the ASDA chain of supermarkets marked Walmart's entry into the European market providing a platform for the company to reach a whole new customer base. China, with its vast population and burgeoning middle class, presented an attractive opportunity for Walmart. In 1996, Walmart opened its first store in Shenzhen, marking its entry into the Asian market. Despite the competitive landscape and cultural differences, Walmart managed to carve a niche for itself, offering a unique blend of value, variety, and convenience. In less than a decade, Walmart had managed to establish its presence in four major markets outside the United States. This international expansion was not just about growing the company's footprint, but also about bringing the Walmart shopping experience to customers around the globe. By the turn of the century, Walmart had truly become a global retail powerhouse. From its humble beginnings in Arkansas, the company had transformed into a global giant, setting the stage for the next chapter in its remarkable journey. In the 21st century, Walmart continued to innovate while also facing new challenges. The dawn of the digital age marked a new chapter for Walmart's story, pushing the company into uncharted territories of e-commerce. In 2016, Walmart acquired Jet.com, a promising e-commerce startup. This move was a strategic embrace of the online market and a clear signal of Walmart's commitment to innovation. Jet.com, quote, S proprietary technology and talented team gave Walmart a new edge enabling it to better serve its customers in the online space. Yet the digital revolution was a double-edged sword. With the rise of e-commerce came new competition, most notably from online retail giant, Amazon. This fierce rivalry prompted Walmart to launch its own online platform, walmart.com. This was no small feat. It required the company to rethink its business model, to adapt its supply chain, and to invest heavily in technology. But Walmart was not deterred. It recognized the need to evolve to meet its customers where they were, online. However, innovation wasn't the only challenge Walmart faced in the 21st century. The company came under scrutiny for its labor practices. Allegations of low wages, poor working conditions, and gender discrimination sparked controversy and led to lawsuits. These issues, deeply rooted in the company's culture and operations, posed significant challenges. They forced Walmart to question its values, to confront its shortcomings, and to strive for better. Yet, amidst these trials, Walmart has remained resilient. The company has learned from its mistakes, implemented changes and continued its pursuit of innovation. It has embraced the digital age not as a threat but as an opportunity to better serve its customers. It has faced its controversies head-on, not as an end but as a catalyst for improvement. Even with its challenges, Walmart continues to evolve and adapt, staying true to its mission of helping people save money. Today, Walmart stands as the world's largest retailer serving over 265 million customers weekly. A testament to its humble beginnings, Walmart has evolved into a retail behemoth, embracing the digital age with the same vigor that it once used to spread its brick-and-mortar stores across the globe. In the era of e-commerce, Walmart has not been left behind. Recognizing the shift in consumer behavior, the company has expanded its online presence with a robust e-commerce platform that caters to millions of customers daily. Whether it's grocery delivery at the click of a button or a virtual walk through its aisles, Walmart has ensured that it remains a part of their customers' lives, online and offline. Walmart's commitment to sustainability is another feather in its cap. The company is dedicated to reducing its environmental footprint and promoting sustainable practices. They've set ambitious goals, such as zero emissions by 2040, and a commitment to protect, manage, or restore at least 50 million acres of land and 1 million square miles of ocean by 2030. But the road to success is not without its bumps. Walmart has faced criticism for its labor practices, but the company has taken active steps to improve. They've invested in their workforce, increasing wages, and providing opportunities for advancement. They've also committed to creating a more inclusive workplace, 
understanding that diversity is not just good for society, it's good for business. In addition, Walmart continues to give back to the community. Through their foundation, they've donated billions to causes that align with their company's values, education, workforce development, environmental sustainability, and health and wellness. So what's next for Walmart? Well, if history is any indication, we can expect Walmart to continue to innovate, adapt and grow, staying true to Sam Walton's vision of saving people money so they can live better. From a single store in Arkansas to a global retail giant, Walmart's journey is a testament to the power of innovation, adaptability and a clear mission.